Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be going over our um, our flash flooding, our severe weather, our tropics, and also what this heat dome is going to do. So that's what we're going to go over in this video. But anyways, we got a moderate threat of flash flooding. As you can see, this is for um, Missouri, parts of Illinois. It's actually eastern Missouri, and it's going to be southwest Illinois. So that's currently what we're watching for our day one. We also have a slight risk over here towards Wyoming, Idaho, parts of Utah, and very small portions of Colorado. So that's currently what's happening for that. We are going to go over here towards our um, flash flooding over here towards Missouri and uh, Illinois. So we're going to put this out into motion. As you can see, there is a crap ton of rain falling up here towards northern Missouri, and it slides all the way down towards St. Louis. And as you can see, it's also going to reach, like I said, towards southwest Illinois. And then as time goes on, it kind of just weakens out. But we have another round of rainfall hitting over here towards Missouri, uh, parts of Iowa. And as you can see, it just keeps on going through. And as you can see, it also goes through um, Illinois and it goes through Indiana. So that's definitely something that we got. Watch. So as you can see, as time goes on, um, this is our first round of rain. As you can see, we can already see about seven inches of rain falling over here towards northern Missouri, even as well as down here towards southern um, Iowa, because as you can see, some of these storms are producing up to about seven inches of rain. But if we push, push this out even further, as you can see, this is our whole round of rain. This is pretty much our first round. As you can see, we can see almost 10 inches just west of the St. Louis area. That is crazy. And as you can see, just there's a lot of rain falling over here towards parts of Iowa. And Missouri, and as you can see, also parts of Illinois. So that's something that we go watch. But then we have our second round. This is our second round, and you can see just lots of flash flooding is gonna happen. But this is our second round of rainfall, and also down here towards the south, um, you can see quite a bit of rainfall down here. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's another threat of flash flooding down here for the next couple of days. But if we look over here, this is all in total. This is about 10 inches of rain. I, I want to say the highest is about an in, a foot of rain. And that is that is truly not good. So if you live in the Missouri, Illinois, and Iowa area, I'd be concerned with this. And just make sure you guys have a way to sure receive alerts. Because, I mean, this thing is crazy. Which we can see crazy amount of flash flooding out of this. So that's currently what's happening for that. And as we go over here for our severe weather, as you can see, there's a slight risk over here towards Missouri, parts of, of Kansas. So that's currently what's happening for that. If we go over here towards Thursday, we have another slight risk over here towards Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, and parts of Wyoming. Very small portions of southeast Wyoming. And then a marginal threat down here towards the south, over here towards Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama and Mississippi. And then over here we have another marginal threat for eastern Michigan, um, parts of New York and Vermont, and small portions of New Hampshire. And then if we go over here towards Friday, it's only for the northeast, for northeast Pennsylvania and New York. So that's currently what's happening for that. And if we go over here for our day four threat, we have a 15% threat of severe weather over here towards Nebraska, Kansas, and parts of Colorado. It is pretty much a slight risk for the most part. That's what a 15% is. It's a slight risk of severe weather. So that's currently what we all have to watch for that. Um, this could become even stronger. So this could be like an enhanced risk tomorrow or maybe in a moderate threat. So that's definitely something that we gotta watch. But we're gonna go over here towards our model runs. As we go out into the future, as you can see, this is our severe weather for pretty much for the day over here towards Nebraska and parts of Colorado and Wyoming. And then there's our blob of rain over here towards eastern Missouri. But as time goes on, you can see it just there's quite a bit of severe weather happening over here, but the big day is right around here. And just as where like you can see just a full on like line of storms that could potentially form out here towards Nebraska and Kansas. So that's pretty much our 15% threat over there. As time goes on, um, we could see more severe weather over here towards the Northeast Ohio Valley area. So that's another thing that we gotta watch as time goes on. And then
and then there, there's a couple more storms, but this is, like, getting so far out that, like, the further out you go, the more into La La Land you go out to. Because, as you can see, this might not even happen over here towards South Carolina, so. And this is, like, what, the 11th of August? So, that's, that's crazy stuff, you know? But now we're going to go over towards our tropics. As you can see, um, we only have a 10% threat over here towards the central North Atlantic Ocean. Um, this used to be almost a certain threat, but now it's all the way down to 10%. That don't make sense. <laughs> no, it don't. But if we go over here towards the model runs, um, as you can see, this is pretty much why it's not really going to form. Because as you can see, our high pressure, we have wind shear over here, and it just falls apart. So why in the world would you name it when it's just a blob of wind shear forming? So, and nothing too organized over here, but, um, as you can see, there's rain falling. As we put this out more, as you guys can see, um, it's just a blob of rain. As you can see, there is a couple low pressure systems up here, but I don't think they're really tropical to form. So really nothing's going to come out of it, um, out of those. But you can see there is a little bit of a low pressure system. As time goes on, it, like literally there's nothing other than like little squall lines of some sort. But that's pretty much about it. So currently what's happening for that. But if we look over here towards um the pacific ocean as you can see this is uh hurricane dora yeah dora the explorer <laughs> i mean funny but um yeah this is hurricane dora as you can see um well you can't really see anything it's just out here towards the south of mexico and as you can see um yeah it's pretty much just hanging out over here it is a 90 mile an hour storm that is crazy 90 mile per hour windstorm hurricane so that, that's currently what's happening for hurricane dora or here we have another area of disturbance it's a low chance in the next 48 hours but it's a high 70 percent chance so it could be the next name storm out here towards the pacific but the thing is that this is hurricane dora as you can see it is currently a 90 mile an hour storm so it's almost a category two already i believe last night it was a tropical storm but now it's a full-on hurricane so this thing is rapidly strengthening as it heads off towards the west, and it's supposed to be a major hurricane. You can maybe see a Cat 3, Cat 4, maybe even a Cat 5 out of this, depending on how it's strengthening like it is. And it, it is moving west at 60 miles per hour, so it's really not going to impact anything. But um, this will actually slide south of Hawaii. So that is definitely something that we have to watch. If I put this out into motion, you can see there is Hurricane Dora over here, the 10, the a thousand and two millibar low pressure system as time goes on it kind of starts strengthening i mean you can just see the intensity on that as time goes on it kind of starts weakening the closer it gets to hawaii but it's like so far south towards hawaii which it probably won't really impact towards that area but um it could do something around that um yeah around hawaii but we really don't know because i mean we have this high pressure system it's mainly to go south, probably like this model run is doing. But I mean, it could potentially hit towards Hawaii again, maybe at another tropical system, or it could just slide towards the south. Which that would be the best case scenario because Hawaii just got hit by a tropical storm Calvin. So yeah, but now we're gonna be going over our last topic for the day. As you can see, it is supposed to be 105 degrees over here towards Texas and Oklahoma today. It's crazy, right? 105 degrees. Like I said, there's a nice uh, cold front up here. It's almost about 55, 54. It's almost at wind chill status up here, which is very good for the Northeast. You know, if you don't really like the cold, huh? yeah, you're probably better off just bringing this back up there, you know? But anyways, if we put this out in motion, it's pretty much not doing anything. It starts warming up up here towards the Northeast. Also, as well as towards the Great Lakes, Ohio River Valley region and um parts of the midwest but as you can see just look how hot like about 105 close to 110 if possible because i mean it just sticks down here towards the south the southern plains and the southwest yeah so it just stays there and stays there and stays there but we do have more warmth heading up here towards montana um the northern rockies and the um plains up here so we can be seeing about 90 degree temperatures up here once again. Um, 
But I'm going to say we're only supposed to be like seeing the 80s, mid 80s up here towards the Great Lakes region area. And mainly about the 70s, close to 80s up towards the northeast. But other than that, just look at that. Almost 110 degrees just towards the west of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Yeah, the DFW area. And over here, once again, dealing with 113 temperatures. It's crazy stuff. But anyways, that's pretty much about it for today. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. That way you guys do not miss latest information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.